What is happening, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Road to Master Ball Rank. Today, we're going to be getting into it with an interesting rental team here. Um, so, my boy Chris hooked me up with a team that I think might be pretty fun to mess around with. So, we're going to get into some rank battles here, and I'll go ahead and show you guys kind of the team that we're working with. So, we'll show the battle info. Why not? All right. So, this is a pretty hyper-offensive team. This is from my boy Skyrander. Um, we actually are going to rank up to 6 because we gained in points. Hell yeah, we're still in Pokeball, but we're looking good. We also get 10 BP. Alright, so, uh, this is the team. It consists of Hydragon, Durant, Cinderace, Whimsicott, Mimikyu, and Galar Darmanitan. Um, so the idea behind this is the Whimsicott actually has Prankster Tailwind, which I think could work really well with Durant. Uh, Tailwind essentially just increases our speed for four turns. Then we can basically go into that Ant and Dynamax, and then we don't have to worry about Hustle Misses because of uh, the Dynamax move. So I think that might be kind of our best bet. We also have that Mimic you there, which can benefit from that. Uh, get up some Sword Dances, and I think we're going to kind of stick with mostly those three, the Durant, Whimsicott, um, and the Mimic you. And then I guess... We can kind of switch it up if the matchup um, kind of calls for it. So, this is the team we're going to be working with. And before we jump into some battles here, this is actually a sponsored video, so check it out. Introducing Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a turn-based RPG done right. It's one of the top three ranked RPGs in the Google Play Store, and it's been nominated as a finalist for Google Play's Best of 2019 User's Choice Award. This game is crazy popular, with almost 15 million downloads in the last six months. Raid is a hero collection turn-based game with over 400 champions for you to collect and personally customize. You can explore over a million champion builds, enjoy a fully voiced story campaign, and raid with friends in a clan. And the best part is that it's free to play. One of my favorite things to do is trying to collect all the different champions. This is one of my newest, and this is a homie you do not want to mess with. There's a bunch of cool features in the game, like the multi-battle auto mode, which helps out with grinding times, along with weekly tournaments and events that allow you to compete and win some extra prizes every week. You can check out this cool roadmap that they've published. They have huge plans for updates in the game over the next six months, so there's always new content for you to enjoy and to never get bored. So, go to the video description, click on the special links, and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Alright, so an opposing trainer has been found. Let's get right into it. So, this guy's rank 5, we're rank 6. So, nice. Alright. So, taking a look at the team preview, he has Darmanitan, which is obviously scary. He has the Aegislash. Tyranitar, which is interesting, along with the Corbinite, Excadrill, and the Gastrodon. So, uh, taking just some notes of the team there. This could be quite the scary team this guy's got. I'm afraid of the Galar Darmanitan, obviously. He also has the Tyranitar, which could pair with the Excadrill. Um, the Gastrodon can definitely take hits. I think we do need to bring the Whimsicott, which I'm probably going to lead off with. I think it's probably the safest. Let's go ahead and let's lead Whimsicott. We will also bring Durant, and then I think we could bring our Banded Darmanitan, but I think I want to bring Mimikyu. Uh, this will be nice against the, I guess the Darmanitan, we can obviously just bring this thing in, and after the Disguise is broken, we can hit it with the Play Rough and then Shadow Sneak, so we should be, okay, let's actually check the summary of this thing, just to, just to make sure. So, Swords Dance, just a standard set with this thing, so yeah, we're going to bring the Mimikyu as well. Um, so we're going to lead with the, with, the, with the Whimsicott just to see, as I stutter, if we can maybe get some uh, some Tailwinds up. We also have the U-turn option there, so this guy's got the 666 for his his jersey number. All right. So I'm expecting him to bring Darmanitan, probably the Aegislash, um, potentially Tyranitar. We'll see. So they lead off with the Darmanitan. Um, we are Focus Sash, so what I could do here is I could guarantee some damage on this thing. If it wants to stay in and just attack me, um, that is fine. But I think going just for a Moonblast here to get some damage might not be a bad idea. I can turn, I can Tailwind after. Um, and then I think that'll set us up relatively nicely. So let's go ahead and just go right for a Moonblast here. With the Focus Sash, we don't have to worry about dying. This thing is likely just going to U-turn. Um, as we're actually faster, so that shows us that this thing is not going to be a Scarf Darmanitan. Um, which is actually great for us, so... That's going to hit us with an Icicle Crash that will knock us down to our Sash, because... This thing's probably Choice Banded, I'm going to assume. Unless he's weird and brought a Focus Sash one like I've been using, but alright. So now this thing has no way to survive this. We're basically just going to click Moonblast again. Um, I doubt they're going to want to switch out, potentially might. Um, if they brought the Corviknight, they'd probably switch into that. Or the Aegislash. 
It kind of just depends. They can't go into Gastrodon. So I think we just go ahead and click Moonblast again here. If they decide to switch into something else, that's fine. We can uh, we can still get up the Tailwind. And then we know that we'll be able to outspeed that Darm as well. So let's just go for another Moonblast here. Let's hope that they stay in so we're able to get rid of this threat. But I doubt, yeah, they're going to switch out. Uh, so I'm going to take a note. This thing is not Scarf. And they're actually going to go into the Gastrodon, which... Um, is a risky switch in considering I am a grass type and you are absolutely allergic to grass. So we get the Moonblast off, which is going to do a little bit of damage. We can now just go ahead and Giga Drain. And the best thing this thing has on me is probably Ice Beam, which I don't even know if we need the Tailwind at this point, to be quite honest. I'm just going to Giga Drain here. If this thing is able to knock me out, then so be it. Um, I think it's probably just worth me getting this Giga Drain on, off on it because this thing is a defensive threat that it... It's kind of just worth it for us to whittle down. Uh, so we go for the Giga Drain there. That's just going to go ahead and just knock this thing right down to like 5 HP, which is great. And we get a lot back in the process. So that sets us pretty nicely. And uh, he's actually just going to Scald. So this man is not prepared for the Fluffball Whimsicott. I honestly really hate playing against these things. But when I can get my own, I love it. So um, we do get burnt there from the Scald, which, you know, is to be expected. Uh, so that's actually fine. It kind of just depends on what their last Pokemon is. Um, and Durant actually could probably outspeed pretty much everything, except for the Excadrill, depending. So let's just go ahead and Giga Drain here. Gonna finish this thing off. Um, we know that we'll have a decent time against the Darmanitan as long as Hustle comes through for us on Durant. I mean, also we have the Mimikyu as well, so we don't have to really be too worried. But down goes the Gastrodon. And no longer have to worry about the Sluggy Boy as we get hurt by the Burn. Which is alright, so I'm assuming they're going to go into their third slot here. We can go ahead and set up a Tailwind if we need to, or we can just get some damage and then let Durant and Mimikyu kind of help us out. So they are actually going to go into a Tyranitar. So they brought the T-Tar, and uh, that thing is going to have the Sandstream. So what I'm mostly worried about here is the fact that... Um, he also... No, just kidding. We're actually alright. We're fine. I was thinking my mind's always set on 6v6 singles. <laughs> we know that he doesn't have anything other than this, so we can basically just go ahead and get some damage off here. We do not need a Tailwind unless this thing is Scarf. Um, I think we're pretty much A-OK. -okay. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to Moonblast because we have higher base damage than Giga Drain. So just be able to get that off. We could also U-turn if need be, but I think we're just going to go ahead and click that Moonblast. And then also, I believe Mimikyu should be able to finish it for us. Um, he is going to go ahead and Dynamax, so that is to be expected. Literally going to bring out Godzilla out here, which is a threat. But um, this Moonblast should be able to whittle this thing to the point where uh, Dynamax Durant will be okay. Is it a Scarf Tyranitar, though? That is the question. Should I have Tailwinded? So Moonblast, not going to be able to do much since this thing is freaking massive. We do get a special attack drop, which doesn't really matter because it's definitely a physical attacker. Hits us with that Max Quake. And we are actually able to live it. Whimsicott, you absolute beast. Um, I honestly thought that was going to be able to kill. Whimsicott is just coming through for us. Well, so we get hit by the Sandstorm, though, unfortunately, and then the burn damage is going to take us out. So that guy got lucky there. Um, we would have been able to stall out, stall out another turn of this thing's Dynamax. Um, I think the best play here, do we want to go into Durant or the Mimikyu? Um, I think saving, hmm, this is, this is, we're going to have to Dynamax no matter what we go into here. Um, I could just go into Mimikyu, Dynamax, and play rough. Because we know Durant is going to be able to outspeed that Darmanitan. Durant is a jolly uh, max speed at 177 speed, so we'll be able to outspeed that thing. It kind of just comes down to being able to hit the hustle, though, which actually scares me. But that's the way this team goes. So, we could decide to Swords Dance here. Um, which actually might not be a bad idea. This thing's going to lose its Dynamax 2 turn. It's been up for one. Um, do we want to Swords Dance here, or do I want to just go right for the Play Rough? The Play Rough isn't going to be able to knock it out um, turn 1, but... I think two should be able to do it. I don't think we even need to Swords Dance, to be honest. Let's just go ahead and click Play Rough. I'm going for the Swords Dance there. Guarantees that we're able to get that up, but I'd rather just go ahead and... You know what? We actually, we actually should have gone... Shit, man. I should have gone for the Swords Dance. 
Well, at least we're able to stall out this thing's Dynamax. Gonna get that Spadef boost as well. So knocks out my disguise. Goes ahead and snaps my neck. And we get hit by that Sandstorm damage. Which is fine. And alright. So this thing has one turn left. Of the Dynamax. I think I might Dyna as well here. Just allow us to be able to take a hit from this thing. We're just going to go ahead and obviously max Starfall. And we'll see what Mimikyu is made of. Can we take a max quick? I haven't used a lot of Mimikyu's in my day. But I do know that in Road to Rank Battles, these things are going to be pretty important. Whether we're playing against them or using them ourselves. Mimikyu is a damn threat. So, we get big on him. And now we're going to be able to get some more damage with the max Starfall. Uh, plus that Life Orb. So we'll be able to see how much this does, as opposed to just kind of going straight for that play rough. thought I was going to be able to do more. Jesus, this Tyranitar is bulky as hell with that Dynamax. You literally cannot do shit to these T-Tars, man. Absolute beasts. Um, so, gets up that Mist. This thing's going to go for the Max Rockfall here, which does set up the Sandstorm, but obviously it's already up. We're able to take that since we're Dyna, and we get hurt by that Sandstorm. So now this thing is going to go ahead and be small. Which is great. And now you are tiny again. Makes regular Tyranitar look so tiny. Alright. Uh, so now, obviously, this is going to be able to kill. And it's kind of just us against that Darmanitan who is not Scarf. So, I believe we've got ourselves in a pretty decent position. I think I, I could have played this better. Um, I definitely... It's just my first time with this team. I'm trying to kind of fi figure things out. Um, I could actually play just casual battles if I don't want to just hop right into ranked now that I think about it. But... Screw it, boys. We're going right into the ranked battles. All right. So, we know that all, all you got left is the snowman. So, in comes this lad. And actually, what is Mimikyu's speed even sitting at? Um, at 162. Mimikyu is fast as hell. Well, we just go for that max starfall. No reason to really click anything else. We are going to be able to outspeed, and that is going to do it. We didn't even need to use the Durant. But Dynamax Mimikyu already log in the KOs, which I have a feeling is going to happen quite a bit for us. So, got ourselves our first win of this episode, and uh, we're looking good. So, we will collect them rank points. Thank you, Carlos. We appreciate that. All right. We also do get a rare candy. Ooh, thank you. Mysterious voice. All right. Um, we will not check the opposing team. We'll be all right. And we're going to continue. Let's see if we can get this team uh, to proceed to work. I really want Durant to come in and fuck some shit up. Hey, look at that, boys. We have graduated to Great Ball Tier at 7. Love to see it. So we are well on our way to that Master Ball. Nice. All right. So let's find ourselves another trainer and get another win. All right. Another opposing trainer has been found. Not too bad. Let's see what they are working with this time. So, we do see, of course, another Darmanitan, uh, which is scary. We see the Grimmsnarl, more Pico, a Dragapult, along with the High Dragon, and a Mimikyu of their own. So, quite the scary team this guy's got. I'm afraid of the, I'm afraid of the Darmanitan as per usual. Um, but I think if we can get up Tailwind, we might even need to bring our own Darmanitan here, to be honest. With that band in the, t in the Tailwind, um, we're going to be able to pretty much kill like everything. That Mimikyu of theirs is actually pretty scary. What do we want to do here? I think we want to lead Whimsicott, uh, be able to get that Tailwind up and try to do some, not, do some damage early. Um, we could go Durant because we'll be able to hit stuff hard with, we have Crunch for the Dragapult and the Mimikyu. I think that might not be a bad idea. We could also bring the High Dragon as well. Hmm, what do we want to, what do we want to bring for our third slot? Do we want to bring our own Mimikyu? I think we want to bring our own Mimikyu, actually. Let's do it, alright. We're going with the trusty squad yet again. And not really sure what they're going to want to lead off with. I don't know if I want to get the Tailwind up right away, or if I want to U-turn. I guess it kind of depends. We'll see what they go with. I'm expecting maybe Darmanitan lead again. Um, I honestly would not doubt that, because one of the best leads in the game... You basically outspeed everything of your scarf, and you're able to just hit so damn hard. All right. Oh, they're actually going to go Grimmsnarl. So this is perfect for us, uh, as we have the Whimsicott. Um, 
we can basically just get off a free moon blast here, which I think uh, would be pretty important just to get some damage off on this thing. So let's just click moon blast here. So we see that they bring the Grimmsnarl. Uh, so that is good news. One slot out of the way, expecting probably Darmanitan and Dragapult or Mimikyu. So we're just going to go right for the moon blast here. And I don't know what this set's going to be yet. It's going to be one of those Prankster Thunder Wave sets, which is annoying. So we get paralyzed here. Let's really hope that we don't get fully paralyzed. Yes, yeah, so we break through. We're able to hit this thing with a moon blast. Which is almost even going to be able to knock this thing out, which is nuts. So, that is fantastic. We do see that this thing is also going to be leftovers. So, just a bulky Grimmsnarl with the Thunder Wave. That's annoying. Do I want to set up the Tailwind now? Just to ensure that I can get that up? Well, not ensure because we do have to worry about the Paralysis. But, I would love the Tailwind to be up. I think I'm going to go ahead and click that. This thing's actually... Ooh, it's going to bulk up. Ooh, okay. I see you. So, Prankster bulk up. Please don't get fully parrot. We get the Tailwind up. Okay. Um, so now we're paralyzed with the Tailwind up, which is interesting. This thing um, likely isn't faster. Eating some more leftovers. We're just going to go ahead and move last again. So we have four turns of Tailwind. This is turn one. Technically, we only need three turns of Tailwind. If we can Dynamax and just kill, one, kill things with one hit, that's the idea. This thing's going to bulk up again. Oh, sweet Jesus. This man's getting greedy. Let's please don't get paralyzed. I know that's why they go for the Thunder Wave. Oh, we actually break through. So, that is going to knock this thing out. And uh, one down, two to go. So, we have the Tailwind up. We have three turns left of it. Uh, if they bring in something that can just knock out Whimsicott, that's honestly... Well, we have that Sash anyway, actually. So, we're guaranteed to get a hit. Um, I would really not want to hard switch into Durant or Mimikyu. It kind of depends on what they're going to go into here. It's going to be the Darmanitan. Okay. So, with this thing... Um, I do think that hmm, we could just U-turn after we take a hit. Or do I just want to move? You know what? Let's actually, let's go for the U-turn here. I think this might be the play. This thing's going to be still fat. Oh, we're actually, we're actually going to get fully paired. Okay, that's actually fine. Uh, that shows us that we are faster. Being paralyzed with the tailwind up makes things, makes things interesting. Okay, so. Gets that Icicle Crash off, we live with the Sash. And now, do I go for the damage, or do I just U-turn again? Since we're faster, I think we don't want to U-turn. That was actually kind of worked out for me, in retrospect. Well, we just click Moonblast here. Hopefully, don't get fully paired again. Okay, so we get the Moonblast off. Whimsicott is just out here being a damn menace. That's going to do more than half to this thing, get that special attack drop, which doesn't matter at all. And this thing finishes us with an Icicle Crash. So, unfortunately, we used too many turns of the of the Tailwind, but I think we're still in pretty good shape here. So, Whimsicott goes down, Fluffy Boy did what it needed to do, and the Tailwind goes away. So, that is not the best for us. But, what we can do is... Man, is it going to be... Hmm... I kind of want to save Durant in case they brought the Mimikyu. Do I go into the Mimikyu of my own and just go ahead and just play rough this thing? I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to save the Durant. I'm really thinking that they brought the Mimikyu. Could have used another Tailwind turn. But things didn't work out. Okay, so we just click play rough. We don't really want to Dynamax yet. I think that saving it for Durant is probably the best. Then we just go right for that play rough there. And let's see. So we break through. We ought faster. Seeing a lot of slow Darmanitans these days. What's going on with that? So, two down. Grimmsnarl and Darmanitan are dead. They have one Pokemon left. What do you have for me? Mimikyu still has its disguise, so we're setting pretty nice here. And it is going to actually be the more Pico. <laughs> so, uh, that's actually perfect. We're going to just go ahead and not play any games. We're going to Dynamax and Max Starfall this thing. And uh, our buddy Mimikyu is doing it. I honestly, I really love this thing. One of my favorite Gen 7 Pokemon for sure. Just a, It's just a cool gimmick. Which, more Pico actually has a really cool gimmick as well uh, with its like hangry mode, so. Battle of the Gimmick Boys here. We are gonna get big. I'm assuming they're gonna Dynamax as well, but we just, we really just have the matchup here, so we should be okay. Also, we have Durant in the back with the first impression, so we should be, for the most part, safe here. It would be nice to get Durant into first impression that, but I don't really know if we even really need to, so. We're really gonna get that max Starfall, and they actually they don't. They're just going. They're just gonna take that heat. Oh, it's actually gonna be a Focus Ash one. So 
That should be okay. We are going to make the battlefield all misty. And this is going to go for a crunch, which obviously breaks our disguise. But as a Dynamax boy, there's really nothing this thing can do that can knock me out at this point. So we essentially just stay here and uh, go ahead. This thing's going to get evil on us. But it's fine. We're just going to max Starfall one last time. And I don't think there is any hope because... You dead as hell. Sorry about that, Morpika. You're adorable. But Mimikyu just doesn't care. Does not care. Alright. So that is going to be another win. We're just cruising right along here. And these ranked battles... They're interesting because they're, they're relatively quick. You can just get momentum going on your side. And it kind of... It really depends on how you start. Alright. So we are moving up the rank here, boys. Uh, we can actually check out this guy's team, which is kind of cool. Um, so this guy was working with the Banded Darmanitan. Nice. Weakness Policy Dragapult. Interesting. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and move right along here. We shall continue. Let's find ourselves another W. Also, look at that rank up. Love to see it. Alright. Might take a while to find an opposing trainer. Either it takes forever or it takes no time at all. It's, it's very weird. Alright, we've got ourselves an opposing trainer. And let's see how we're going to do this time. Another guy that's rank 7. So what do you got for me? You have a Mimic, you have your own. Of course you do. Dragapult, to be expected. Have the Sylveon, which is interesting. Arcanine. Excadrill. And then the Snorlax. So I think we're probably going to go with the same strategy here. I think we're probably just going to bring the same lads, to be honest. Um, I like having the, the High Dragon around, along with like the Dark Mana Tent, because they kind of have to play around it. But even if we're not using them, it just... It does set some pressure on him. So, let's lead with Sash Whimsicott. We are going to bring Durant. <laughs> and then let's just go with Mimikyu again. Um, with that Lumberry, we are pretty much unstoppable if they try to burn us or anything. Which, the Arcanine would be the only will o -Wisp on their team. But, I think this is probably the safest safest way to go with Whimsicott. I'm expecting them. They could lead with their... Hmm, I'm not really sure what they're going to lead with this time, to be honest. But we're just talking Whimsicott out there and hoping for the best. We don't see them bringing the Galar Darmanitan, which is also it gets surprising, but it's a nice treat. All right. So battle number three. This guy's got some psychedelic-ass clothing. Looking looking cool, as I say, with my, like, mushroom fairy background. So <laughs> I'm also I'm trippy as well. All right. So what are you going to lead with for me? They have the Excadrill. Okay. So Excadrill lead... Uh, could Stealth Rock, could just go for an Iron Head and knock some damage on me. Um, I think it's best for us to probably just go ahead and Tailwind here. Man, the Excadrill actually is kind of scary. Uh, Durant has that superpower, so I think that's that's kind of safe for us. We're going to go ahead and let's just go for the Tailwind turn one. Uh, this thing's likely just going to Iron Head. Um, we can take that with the Focus Ash and then next turn Giga Drain it. Which should set us up okay. We'll have a couple turns of Tailwind. And with the Dynamax um, Durant, I think we'll be alright. So, we get that Prankster Tailwind up. Just guarantee that that thing stays around. And, yep, there's the Iron Head. So, that is going to destroy us. Knocks us down to one. And at this point, what is Excadrill's max speed, actually? Excadrill, Cerebi. Let's go ahead and check this thing out real quick. I don't remember exactly the max speed of these things. Um, so it's at 154, um, if it's not scarfed, but we're just going to go ahead and Giga Drain here. The good news about Giga Drain is that it will, um, if this thing is Focus Sash, it's going to go ahead and break that. So, knock it down to about half. And I do really like the, I like the Durant coming in here because we can go ahead and Dynamax Max Knuckle. I will obviously be able to outspeed, but the Tailwind is there just kind of for assurance, to be honest. Insurance, I mean. All right. We'll bring in the Durant. We can Dynamax. We can go for the Max Knuckle, which will give us an attack boost. If they brought the Snorlax, they're not going to like that thing either. Um, other than that, I assume they probably brought either the Mimikyu or the Dragapult. So we're going to go ahead and Dynamax. Hit that superpower slot, Max Knuckle. And Hustle Durant is about to get big on him. About to literally bring one of my worst fears to life. You guys ever think about if insects were like 
the size of buildings. Them shits would be scary as hell. They already are, like, super strong. Could you imagine? My god. Straight up nightmare fuel out here. Also, Durant just looks evil as hell with them red eyes. Alright, so he's deciding what he wants to do. Um, so we go and get big. And the max knuckle here pretty much ensures us a kill. I don't think that they're going to dynamax as well. Um, this thing can't knock me out in one hit, especially since I'm dyna. So, Jesus, that is a scary ant. Did you hear that? My god. Absolute monster. And okay, so we're able to outspeed. And the max knuckle is going to come through. And that's going to knock out the axe drill, which is a big threat. So, they have two left. Now we have a Durant in a Tailwind. Big as hell with an attack boost. And this is essentially what this team I thought we were going to be able to do the most with. Um, we still ha still did have another turn of that Tailwind. And we're going to be able to outspeed everything on their team. And they are going to have to just suffer the wrath of the Ant. Alright, so in comes the Dragapult. I'm expecting them to probably Dynamax here. Uh, we do have the Max Darkness with the Crunch slot. Um, and that is pretty much our best bet here. They're actually just going to just gonna stay in. And with that Tailwind, that Max Darkness is going to absolutely just destroy that Dragapult. My god. So, look at Durant doing the damn thing. The Tailwind goes away. Um, but I mean... The Dragapult was the one thing that we weren't going to be able to outspeed, I'm pretty sure. So I think we're uh, I think we're sitting pretty well here. And then here's the Mimikyu. Which is kind of scary. Um, doesn't really matter what we click here. I'm just going to go ahead and Steel Spike. We just need to break this thing's disguise. We have our own Mimikyu. So as long as we're able to break this thing's first, we should be sitting pretty well. So Max Steel Spike, somehow it just takes it with its head. We also get the um, defense boost there, which is great. So now we'll take even less damage from this thing. So, bust that disguise. We see who you really are. Straight up Scooby-Doo style on him. And this thing is going to Swords Dance. So, a risky maneuver. Um, what is Mimikyu's max speed? They still do have their Dynamax as well, so we got to think about that. Um, so that's actually super scary. But we have a defense boost. This thing... Uh, Max is out at 162. We should be we we do still actually outspeed Jolly Durant. I uh, sits at 177. Now we can just go ahead and crunch and mostly just hope for the best. So Ant is tiny again, but still pretty scary. So here's the Dynamax. And oh Lord, I'm afraid <laughs> of this mimic you. Uh, but we do still have our own in the back. So we're gonna be able to get a crunch off. Uh, be able to do some damage here. And, I mean, we have our own Mimikyu in the back. Interested to see how much this crunch is going to do, though. So we land it. Ooh, sweet Jesus, that about kills it. Damn, thank God we didn't miss due to the hustle there. That, that could have been bad. But it is going to be able to knock us out, which is fine. It's actually a critical hit. Which I don't think mattered with the Swords Dance. This thing probably didn't need it. And it is actually Life Orb. But what we can do here is just go into our own Mimikyu. We have Shadow Sneak, and this thing actually cannot Shadow Sneak itself because it's Dynamaxed, which is actually something to consider uh, using Mimikyu. It no longer gets that priority, but also we still have our uh, we still have our decoy. So, kind of a game of smarts in terms of using, using Mimikyu's here, because he could have had a decent scenario uh, if he was able to save that thing properly, but I don't think there's really much of a chance. That Durant was just applying the pressure, so... This thing also dies to the next life orb damage, which is interesting. But the Shadow Sneak is going to be able to hit him with that priority. Oh, actually, just going to max guard. Um, which doesn't really matter, but... Yeah, because you still have one more turn of Dynamax. Not going to be able to get the priority off. Doesn't matter because we still have our decoy anyway. And the battle was cancelled. So, <laughs> going to go ahead and shrink. Doesn't actually let me kill his Mimikyu, which is upsetting, but... We got ourselves another dub, and that was uh, that was a good one. This team is actually working out very well. I, I really like trying to use Durant. Maybe we'll go with a couple more um, a couple more sessions with this team in the future. But I believe that is going to go ahead and finish up this session, boys. We did actually get to Great Ball rank, which is great. I think if we actually just hit rank battles, um, it does show. I don't think it updates the, the Great Ball tier until we search for another battle. Is that true? Oh, wait. You just hit X to update rank. Just kidding. Psych. There was literally a button right there. Let's check out 
yield rank update just to kind of see what we're looking like looking like i'm having a lot of fun with this though oh yeah so almost sitting at sitting at eight but we are going to continue next time thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button it does help out the channel i do appreciate all the support so far uh, on this series i'm having fun doing it and it seems like you guys are enjoying so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you next time peace out